Okay, pizza review time. Uh, rhombus, guys. We're going, I mean, we're getting pizzas from fucking everywhere which, right now, which I fucking love. Um, no need for all these F words. Just chill out, Dave. Um, but these guys, North Dakota. So, Grand Forks, North Dakota, checking in. And I think I just spit. But rhombus, guys, barstool cheese. I mean, do you get it? I'm the barstool guy. Barstool sports. People say pizza guy. No, I'm the barstool guy. It's our Barstool Sports. So Barstool Cheese should be right up my alley. Although they may be saying set your sights low because it's bar pizza, not like the bar pizza I like where they're actual pizza places, but bar when you're having the drinks in North Dakota and been, er, how about North Dakota winning the national championship in hockey? Um, they got the green jerseys, right? They got the guy, USA guy, uh, bang, 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 scored on the breakaway, played for uh, the Caps, right? Heffy, uh, very pretty wife. Um, whatever, North Dakota. Um, best damn pizza you've ever had. Everybody seems to be claiming that. We'll be the judge of that. Also, uh, well, you know what? I, I got a little story. I want, when, I'm, when I come back from the break after we put this thing out, Rhombus, guys, Grand Forks and Fargo, North Dakota. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I didn't even see this. Barstool Cheese... They did this for me. It says 2L Prez right on the package. 2L Presidente. Okay. This is a personalized package. Major points. I almost missed that. 2L Prez from Rhombus Guy. Grand Forks and Fargo, North Dakota. All right. Now that's fucking some hospitality. That's some hospi That's some good old-fashioned hospitality. I'm psyched. I wasn't even going to go into the store. I don't want to turn this dark. But I'm going to cook this up. What degrees are we cooking this on, guys? 15 to 18 minutes, bottom rack, uh, place directly, 450 degrees. All right, I'm going to put this in. I was, uh, after the break, you know the website Eater, and, and put my earmuffs because it's going to get a little bit dark. So they do this thing, I, everyone's tagging me, they have a post, hey, guess what? We're going to do frozen pizza reviews, all the places. Listen, I don't have a, a, a copyright or like, I don't own the frozen pizza market, but the people at Eater, Eater is the biggest bunch of cocksuckers in the history of the world. Bunch of blue checkmark fucking losers. They've written articles about me, basically, that say, hey, this guy is an asshole. He's a fucking racist, sexist, all lies. People who know me know his fucking lies. And they're just jealous because I control the pizza market. I don't own it. I control it. What I say matters in the pizza world, brick by brick, review by review, I've built up the credibility. These fucking cocksuckers are now going to try to do this. These, if you work at Eater, uh, die. Die. What is that? Die. die. Oh, that's from um, Saving Sarah Marshall. The, when he's the, uh, the, what's Dracula? Die. Die. That's what you should do if you work at Eater. Die. 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 And if you like me and you work at Eater, and you see all the people who slander me and say all this fucking shit about me, you should break their nose. Die, Eater. Fuck you, Eater. This is the pizza king. Deal with it. Okay, pizza review time. Here we go. Out of the oven. Uh, the rumbus, guys, with the barstool cheese dedicated to me. Uh, looks pretty good. I think I left it in the right amount. Now, before I get into this, at the break, I'm like basically saying what cocksuckers fucking Eater is. And let me clear something up. I don't throw the first punch. I never do. I've never talked about Eater. I just do my fucking thing. I become the big pizza man. But let me tell you. All right, first of all, there's rumors I was opening a pizza place, okay, in New York City. They wrote an article that was happening like, and yeah, I was in talks. I've been in talks a million fucking times. Do I have a pizza place? No, I do not. So first of all, the article is dead wrong. But here's what they fucking write in the article. Looks like Dave Portnoy, the founder of the popularly, uh, popular openly and aggressively misogenic sports and pop culture blog, Barcel Sports, and a man known for frequently footing, putting his foot in his mouth is opening a restaurant. What the fuck's that all about? Just taking shots at me all over the fucking board. And they continue, Barcel Sports no, known for being crude and shit like that. First of all, you're writing a story that's totally wrong, and you're just taking shots at me for no reason. Fast forward, I go do Angelo's uh, Pizza in Philly. Great spot, gave it a great review. Get along with the owner, everyone Philly happy, big lines, blah, 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 right? Well, they write an article about it. Guess what? It's the number one fucking article Eater had all fucking year because they put my name on it, and I fucking sell newspapers. I put asses in seats. So they, they write an article about me, right? They do their review. The number one, literally, the number one story of the year. 
The lines at Angelo's Pizza are ridiculous after Barstool Sports Review. And then the first line, for some reason, people listen to Barstool Sports Dave Port on pizza recommendations. What the fuck? What do you mean, for some reason? Because I review pizza every day. Because I don't have alternative agendas. Because I'm not a snowflake or a blue check mark like apparently the people at here. And I'm sure there's a couple good people at here, but there's a lot of fucking cocksuckers. And the people who trash me and then go do these frozen, break their nose. Dead. All right, I got that rant. Fuck you, either. Fuck. Oh, go do frozen pizza reviews. You know what? Crawl on your hands and knees to me. Kiss my hand. Say your apologies for all these fucking lies you spew about me. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll let you have one slice of my pizza. How about that? All right. It's too nice out to be mad. Let's go back to the rhombus, guys. Fuck you, Eater. Eater. Like, just say you hate me. I don't know why you're jealous, you fucking read headlines that aren't true. I don't fucking know. But don't, like, write an article, hey, Dave Portnoy reviews uh, Pizza Place in Philly. The most people ever go there, by the way, is a scumbag. But what does that have to do with anything? One bite, everybody knows the rules. Fuck Eater and their fucking frozen pizza reviews. Honestly, like, you should be able to punch anybody in the face for me. I'm not condoning it. You can't say that publicly. But they deserve to have their nose broke, metaphorically speaking. Let's keep this positive. We're in Corona. I shouldn't be getting mad. North Dakota, nice people. One bite ever knows the rules. So this is Barcel Cheese from Rumbus, guys. Fuck you, Eater. Go fuck yourself with Jax. Hey, Jax and Eater, maybe you guys should collab and have the fucking grossest pizza baby of all time gets picked on and thrown in lockers in a floppy, weak-lipped dick. One bite ever knows. Jack, yeah. Jax and Eater, they, two, two fucking peas in a pod. Jackson, uh, Jackson Eater, sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, it'd be gross, everyone puke, look at those two gross, Blah. one bite, oh, this is pretty good, better than I thought it was going to be, to, to be totally honest, not a bad crunch, as that cardboard outside, this is pretty good, pretty good frozen pizza from the rhombus guys. I wasn't expecting much out of North Dakota because when I think North Dakota, I think ice hockey, I think winter, I think Fargo, even though that could be South Dakota, and I think like, I don't know, cold weather and like cows. That's pretty good. Um, I am going to go... Guys, I'm going six eight. I think there's a really good pizza that may have been low, but it just spit out. It could have been a seven one, but I gave six eight. Very good. I'm pro rhombus guys. South Dakota, North Dakota. I don't know if you can order it. If you can look up rhombus guys, get the barstool cheese or the cheese that they offer it. It's a good, solid quality frozen pizza. Support them. We're in Corona. We need business. Oh, and by the way, either fuck you.